Hey everyone, and welcome back to my steno hood. If you're new here, my name is Edna, and in this channel, we talk about all things steno, including tips for students, as well as sharing my journey as a court reporting student. So, if you're interested in content like this, please consider subscribing. In today's video, I will show you the steps I take to refill the ink on my steno machine. I will share my personal tips, where I purchase my items, and one major no-no when you re-ink your cartridge. So first things first, open your machine and remove the cartridge. Place it on a paper towel, a piece of paper, a tissue, or anything to catch any ink that may spill. Let's talk about the guitar pick for a second. This is my tip for you because you can use a guitar pick to manually advance the ribbon on your ink cartridge as you'll see in a minute. Plus, you can get these super cheap. This is my setup at school. I typically ink my machine at the beginning of my day and this will last about four to six hours depending on the amount of dictation or homework that I may have that day. Okay, so this is pretty much everything I do. I place the ink directly on the ribbon and spread the ink on the ribbon as evenly as possible with my Q-tips. I always keep a small amount of Q-tips in my bag in case I need to refill my ink at school. Next, I manually turn this wheel to advance the ribbon with my guitar pick until I see the next dry piece of ribbon. Then I can continue adding ink until I cover the entire ribbon. I do this step over and over until all of my ribbon is covered. Once you're done, place the cartridge back in the machine and turn this blue wheel to advance the ribbon to make sure that it's working properly. Now here is the major no-no when you re-ink your machine. And I had to learn this the hard way. There is a sponge inside the cartridge that you can also re-ink. But over time, doing this will damage the sponge and it will actually dissolve the sponge. This happened to me and I had to completely trash my previous cartridge because the sponge was so moist that it fell apart. And of course, after doing all of these steps, your hands will end up looking like this. And maybe not just your hands, but all over your clothes and your machine, your backpack, papers, everything. But just use any type of hand sanitizer and it will remove that completely from your hands. I normally buy my ink at school, but sometimes they don't have the ink or they run out very quickly. So my next stop is always the steno doctor and you'll find more information online. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content of this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think can benefit from it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.